less than a fortnight could separate us from the next thrilling test flight of Starship. In a recent announcement, SpaceX revealed its tentative plan for the fourth ever launch of Starship, the colossal spacecraft aimed at propelling humans and cargo toward the moon, Mars, and beyond. The target date for this monumental event is June 5th. However, this date is still contingent upon receiving regulatory approval, particularly from the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration, which must greenlight a modification to the Starship launch license. Assuming all paperwork is in order, and there are no unforeseen technical hurdles, Starship is slated to take flight on June 5th from Space Eckert's Starbase facility in South Texas. The launch window is set to open as early as 8 a.m. EDT, 1200 GMT, 7 a.m. local Texas time. For enthusiasts eager to witness history in the making, SpaceX will be live streaming the event via X, with coverage starting 30 minutes prior to liftoff, as detailed in a newly released description of the impending flight. Standing tall at 400 feet, 122 meters, Starship has already completed three successful flights in April 2023, November 2023, and most recently, on March 14th of this year. With each flight, the mega rocket has shown improvement. While the inaugural mission encountered issues with stage separation, subsequent flights have demonstrated progress. Flight 2 saw successful separation, lasting approximately 8 minutes while Flight 3 achieved orbital velocity, albeit concluding with a breakup upon re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. The upcoming Flight 4 marks a shift in focus for SpaceX. This fourth flight test pivots our attention from orbit attainment to showcasing the capability of retrieving and reusing both Starship and Super Heavy, SpaceX outlined in its mission description. Key objectives include executing a landing burn and a gentle splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico with the Super Heavy booster, and achieving controlled entry of Starship. In response to lessons learned from Flight 3, SpaceX has made several modifications to enhance performance and reliability. For instance, issues with Super Heavy's Raptor engines, experiencing early shutdowns, and failing to reignite during crucial maneuvers were traced back to a filter blockage, affecting the flow of liquid oxygen. Hardware adjustments have been implemented to mitigate this issue, with plans for additional enhancements in subsequent flights. Similarly, Starship encountered challenges during re-entry, including loss of attitude control and uncontrollable rolling due to valve blockages. SpaceX has addressed these issues by adding more roll control thrusters and upgrading hardware for improved resilience, minimizing the risk of recurrence. As anticipation mounts for the upcoming test flight, SpaceX remains committed to pushing the boundaries of space exploration while continually refining the technology that will shape humanity's journey to the stars. In the wee hours of this morning, Rocket Lab achieved another milestone in space exploration. A small Earth observation satellite destined for NASA's pre-fire mission embarked on its journey atop an electron rocket from Rocket Lab's launch pad in New Zealand. The Electron rocket roared to life precisely at 3.41 a.m. EDT, 7.41 p.m. local New Zealand time, carrying the first of two CubeSats designated for NASA's pre-fire, polar radiant energy in the Far Infrared Experiment mission, aimed at advancing climate research. Approximately 53 minutes after liftoff, the satellite successfully reached its intended orbit, marking a critical stage in Rocket Lab's mission. The company is slated to launch the second pre-fire satellite, although the exact date remains undisclosed, expected to occur within three weeks of today's successful launch. Both pre-fire satellites are classified as 6U CubeSats, denoting their compact size. A U represents a unit measuring 4 inches, 10 centimeters per side, making a 6U CubeSat the equivalent of 6 such units. These diminutive satellites will orbit Earth at an altitude of approximately 326 miles, 525 kilometers, tasked with gauging the thermal dynamics of our planet's polar regions, a venture never before undertaken from a systematic orbital perspective, as emphasized by Rocket Lab. 
through thermal infrared radiation measurements akin to those emitted by a heat lamp. The pre-fired duo will traverse the Arctic and Antarctica, furnishing invaluable data to refine climate models and forecast the repercussions of global warming. The Electron rocket, standing tall at 59 feet, 18 meters, executed its 48th launch flawlessly, underscoring its reliability in delivering small satellites into orbit. Rocket Lab's endeavors extend beyond mere launches. Efforts are underway to render the Electron's first stage reusable. Although today's mission lacked a recovery component, Rocket Lab has previously demonstrated successful booster recoveries from the sea with plans to conduct its maiden flight of a refurbished first stage. Rocket Lab's involvement in NASA's climate monitoring initiatives isn't novel. In May 2023, the company propelled four satellites constituting NASA's Tropics constellation, dedicated to tracking tropical storm evolution during two electron launches. In essence, Rocket Lab's endeavors epitomize the convergence of technological innovation and scientific pursuit, fostering advancements in space exploration and Earth observation to unravel the intricacies of our planet's climate system.